All right. Luke. All right, Luke. guys. It's Charlie here. We're going to show you how to proper way to start this chop saw. This K12. This can be high, kind of hard to start if you don't start it a certain way. This is how A crew starts it. If you got another way that you're more comfortable with, be more than happy. But we're just trying to give you a little helpful hint here. All right. First thing you need to do is put the choke on full, which is this knob here. You're going to push it all the way down. Next thing you need to do is the primer bulb here. Push that thing three to five times. <clears throat> All right, now you're ready to pull your trigger in, push your switch down to the full on position. Now what I like to do is give this thing two, two to three kind of prime pulls is what I call them. You pull them up and you're just kind of breaking the Compression on the cylinder, getting a little, little bit more oiled up because if it's been sitting in the truck, hasn't been started in a while, it's going to be kind of hard to start. If you don't do that, these first couple pulls can really jerk your arm around and actually hurt you because the compression on this thing is so high. There is a compression release on here. I only use that for hot starts. I've heard other people say, well, you push that in and then, then it's easier to pull. Well, that's true, but you don't have the compression to start the engine at that point. I don't touch that on the first start. So once you've got it all ready to go, once it fires like that one time, you're going to move this up to half choke. Now, once it's fired up, usually you can reach down and give it a little bit of gas, keep it going. But that's, that's pretty much it right there. Now it should start up fairly easily.